Good evening. A man was hit and killed on the side of the interstate this morning while witnesses say he was possibly changing a tire. It happened just north of the Illinois Road exit in the northbound lanes of I-69. News Channel 15 Tolly Campbell was on the scene and has tonight's top story. Witnesses tell police that at one point the man was seen changing his tire on the shoulder of the interstate. Right now, they're not sure what he was doing at the time he was hit by another truck. But they want to remind everyone of a few tips to help keep you and your family safe. If you ever, ever find yourself in this situation or if you're driving by a stranded vehicle. Approximately 1020 this morning, uh, we received a call that a pedestrian had been struck along I-69. Uh, at approximately the 306.6 mile marker. When first responders got to this scene, the man was dead. Investigators saying he was outside this truck. There is a disabled vehicle, or there was a disabled vehicle on the side of the road. The occupant of that vehicle was outside uh, his vehicle and was struck by another motor vehicle. You can see the hood propped open and a tire leaning against the truck. Allen County Sheriff's Corporal Adam Griffith says while they don't know exactly what he was doing when he was struck, witnesses have provided some insight. But we do know uh, per witness information that he had been changing a tire at one point. It's a situation so many people find themselves in, stranded on the side of the road. Police say drivers should always pull off the road as far as possible, turn on their flashers, and call for help. And if you're driving by, always put as much room between you and a stranded vehicle as possible. Everybody uh, tends to move over the, as the law requires for when a law enforcement officer is on the side of the road. But as common courtesy, it would be much more effective if you moved over for everybody that's stranded on the side of the road. Police tell us everyone who was involved in the crash stayed on the scene. Investigators say at this time, no one is facing charges. The name of the man killed has not been released at this time. In Studio 15, Holly Campbell, News Channel 15.